Okay, what's going on? It's Trapper already Big Blue on Bias.com. Thank you to those who have like, commented, and subscribed. I appreciate you guys. If you guys can comment on this video or give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, maybe you hate it. I don't know. If you could do that, helps the algorithm gets algorithm gets more people to watch. If you guys can share it out, I would appreciate that too. I have a big announcement coming up, and it's thanks to you guys. You guys are the reason that this announcement will happen. I'm sorry, I'm teasing here, but it'll be pretty cool. And it's worth the wait. So I'll let you guys know in the next couple of days. It'll be pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to give you an early thank you. Thank you um, for this very cool opportunity that will happen very soon. So we'll get to that in the next few days. In this video, we're quickly going to talk about a roster move. And also, I apologize. I'm very uh, burnt. Okay. Was at the beach? I'm burnt. So if, if I know some people have commented and said, are you wearing this or that or... You look weird in your video. It's I'm today. I'm burnt. Maybe other days it was just really hot in my room, but today I uh, I got some some sunburn. Usually I don't burn. I just get a good tan. But it is what it is. Okay, so Ryan Lewis, the Giants waved Ryan Lewis. I was very surprised to see this last year. He allowed a passer rating of 83. They kind of plucked him uh, off the uh, off the scrap heap. They brought him onto their practice squad, and then they brought him up, and he started three games for them. Played fairly well against the. Los Angeles Rams, I specifically remember that game that he, I was pretty impressed for a guy who you, you get for nothing, played fairly well. Like I said, he allowed a passer rating of 83, if completion percentage around 52%, so for a guy that you had on your practice squad, that you brought up, that you just kind of added from, from the scrap heap over there to become, you know, a guy that if he needed to start here or there, you can trust to start, not bad, and a nice depth piece. I'm not saying he's going to be your starting cornerback too but he's shown that he can play so i'm very surprised to see that they waived him now i'm assuming that they have another plan that they want to go out and maybe spend maybe a top three or four round pick on a corner or defensive back maybe they want to make a little bit more room i i saw dan duggan stated that maybe an undrafted or an undrafted free agent signing whether that's in in the defensive backfield or just somewhere else maybe they just wanted to kind of open up some space here by letting go of ryan lewis but i was very surprised to see this and i really don't like this move i'll be honest with you i know a lot of my videos people think like i'm just this big giants homer i try and be as realistic as possible i think that so far they've done a nice job with the with their rebuild over the last few years and they've made moves that make sense to me and that analytically they make sense um, but I've also been critical in certain spots. I think Dave Gettleman really flopped last year in last year's draft class by not taking a wide receiver, at least in the first three rounds. He didn't take a wide receiver at all, but I thought at least like first three, four rounds, and he didn't do that. And I think Daniel Jones really suffered from not having many weapons. I, you know, Barkley got hurt. Golden Tate really wasn't the same player. They were kind of thin at wide receiver. They didn't really have many playmakers. Would have been nice if they had maybe a player like Chase Claypool, just saying, just throwing a name out there. He wasn't a first-round pick. They, they could have found some value outside of the first round of wide receiver, and they didn't. So that was my uh, big beef last year with the Giants and their draft class. There's many different things that I, that I have not agreed with. I wasn't really even in agreement with the Blake Martinez signing. He turned out to be a very good player for the Giants. I thought he would really struggle in coverage. You look at the numbers, but Really, he actually performed fairly well analytically last year in coverage, so he did a nice job. And just because I don't agree with the move doesn't mean it's a it, it's it's a bad move. It's just something that I don't agree with or I think isn't going to work out. But sometimes I miss my analysis isn't isn't correct. I think that happens uh, with all of us. I try not to give you too many hot takes, though. I try and back it up with as much information as possible and steer you guys in the right direction, or at least give you guys as much information as possible so you can go ahead and make your own assumptions, your own arguments, your own positions. I think too often there's just too many people, mainly in big media, that just they, they you know they're just looking for for uh, you know for hot takes they're looking to create drama i'm not looking to do that i'm just going to try and and break it down as best as i can for you guys and just use as many facts as possible try and take away the emotion so with this ryan lewis this ryan lewis uh move here waving him i'm not a huge fan of this move i'll be honest with you i think he showed some promise last year i think he was worth at least a roster spot and someone that if you needed to play one or two games I think you can trust him doing that. And he's a young player who can continue to grow a little bit. So a little bit of a weird move, but we'll see what they uh, what they decide to do next in the defensive backfield. Maybe they decide to 
like I said, spend a top three or four round pick on a corner or maybe something like an undrafted free agent signing. 